What's going on everybody? I'm Logan with Howard Super Freaks. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I go through an overview of picking the perfect spot for a stand location. I just got permission on this piece and I've been wanting to hunt it for quite a while because I've found some giant sheds over there in the past and I know it's just a really good spot to get catch a buck cruising. So I'm gonna be showing you guys kind of the overview of the property and what goes into picking the location that I did and all those good things. And hopefully this video can help you guys pick out a good funnel point, things that go into picking a good spot to shoot something like this behind me. And I just really hope it helps you guys out. Let's get into it. kind of the corner of the property right now and I was thinking about somewhere in here but the problem is everything to this direction right here about 75 yards wide it's just it's pretty much all bedding for does mainly so if I had to come in I'd have to come up on that top of that field or like the edge of the field and I'd probably be bumping does out as I come into this spot so probably not gonna post up here I got the one spot picked out over by that ditch crossing, which looks pretty good, but the problem is there's so many trails over there that it'd be hard to decipher which one's best and what one they're gonna use the most. However, I don't really have too many options. Really, it's either kind of in this corner of the property or over at that ditch crossing. And looking at it a little closer here right now, I think I'm gonna have to go with the ditch crossing. It's definitely more of a pinch point too. I mean, right in here, they could come they could come down below the hill and wrap around and stay in the thick of it the closer they get up towards the point of this ditch towards that crossing i mean they really get funneled in down there because it, it gets really steep down here and i'm sure if they're leisurely coming through they're most likely not gonna end up down at that bottom down there so i think we're gonna go back to that big cedar tree clear some clear some limbs off that cedar tree and probably set up on it yep that's what we're gonna have to do grab a couple of the necessities got the silky big boy Thing's been working real good. I've had it for quite a few years. Don't have to mess around with power tools. Although a chainsaw for this one would have been pretty nice, not gonna lie. We'll get this ladder down there and then we'll start trimming some stuff up. And yeah, I think we're gonna end up using this tree right here. So, I like it. If I pick the tree below it, I'll show you down there, but it just would be too close to the main trail coming through and I think my shot opportunity would be like right at my feet so all right let's go get to work as you can tell I don't know if you can hear that in the background but I am pretty close to a house but I'm not too concerned about it I mean I've found some giant sheds right in this area and it's just a spot that I think is kind of overlooked really there's been some big bucks run through here, so. So this tree I was thinking originally kind of, but 
as you can tell this is the trail right here it kind of cuts through and wraps around the side of the hill right there and then you can't really see it but like straight that way goes down and crosses the ditch there's the big trail and they meet right here if i were to pick this tree it'd be right at my feet so we're gonna use this tree right here get set up in and should have some good back cover and all that so i like it i like it a lot You're gonna do this bring a friend doing it by yourself is very smart and it's really hard I need it kind of facing at that angle. I don't really want it straight facing down the hill. Make my shots a little easier. We're getting there. Okay, I got it pretty much situated. I forgot one of the straps back at the house. I have to run back and grab that. And then I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of a spacer for that somehow because that's the dumbest design that that doesn't extend. But nonetheless, I got it pretty much situated. I'm gonna have to have a different strap up top. I kind of nicked it with the saw just ever so slightly when I was cutting stuff. But nonetheless, I'm gonna have to tr trim some of these lower branches off this cedar tree because that trail comes through right there. I'll probably end up having some hemp rope for a scrape hanging probably from one of these limbs right here. About a 10 yard shot. 
but give you guys an idea of what these trails look like. As you can tell, there's no cattle in here. Look at that trail. Incredible. And this one coming across that <clears throat> ravine right there. And they all meet right here. So anything coming up through any one of those trails combined right here should end up walking through here. And hopefully hitting this scrape that I'm gonna put in right down here and it'll be a chip shot. So my stand is facing pretty much pretty much northwest. So I'll be hunting it with a northwest wind. And I think with the wind blowing straight back at the camera, a buck, if he walks the outer contours of this wood line with a northwest wind, he'll be picking up does that bed down here. He'll be picking up any of the does on the other side that I had mentioned, it's all doe bedding over there. With the wind blowing this way, he can, he can skirt the edge, picking up any does in heat. And once he comes through here, he can walk the edge of this with the wind blowing back this way. And he can get any does that might be laying down in here in these cedars and stuff. So I think it's, it's gonna be a good spot. I'm pretty sure that should host some pretty good activity, I'd say. I haven't ran a camera ever over in this area. So this year will be the first year. Hopefully we can get some good shooters on camera in the summer and velvet and stuff. But like I said, I've, I've found plenty of big, big sheds over here in the spring and stuff. So I know there's plenty of good ones running around this area. All right, well, I'm gonna keep trimming away at some of these branches and go back, grab that strap, and then I'm gonna be done for the day. Took a lot of effort to get that sucker up there. Sweating real good. But good time of year to get this stuff done. It's only like 77 degrees a day, so it's not too bad at all, really. Alrighty, let's get to trimming some more. exits going behind my stand kind of fill in some voids make sure they want to use this trail the most well we have it all situated I'll probably do some more clearing once I get back a little later I'll probably check on it again once I get my camera out, like mid-July or something. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. <laughs> 